Welcome viewers to another live stream from Time to Go. In this live stream, uh, we're going to do something a bit different from the normal Time to Go live streams, which are normally related to printers and um, making things, which is something I really like doing. Um, I have lots of printers and I make things for uh, some other projects that I'm doing. So in this live stream, I'm going to introduce to you another one of my uh, pastimes, which is motorcycling. Now I have a motorbike and um, which I travel to work on every single day. And it's uh, an NC750X. And here is that said NC750X. Um, it's a 750cc motorbike and it's a, a nice bike all rounder. It travels to work every single day in the rain, in the snow, in the ice, um, and in the heat. I've traveled in all sorts of weather. But unfortunately, or it could be unfortunately, for one reason or another, which I'll get into later on, I'm going to um, get rid of this bike. Um, it's been a really good bike. I've had it for five years now. I normally replace my bikes every three years, but this one is going to be replaced after five years. The reason I never replaced this one was basically due to the COVID um, and getting time to um, replace it for a new one. I'm going to get rid of her. Now, here's the other side of the bike. Um, if you've got one of these uh, motorbikes, the nt 750 x you'll know how reliable they are <clears throat> and how economical they are. This motorbike here will do about 80 to 85 miles per gallon, which is really, really good. It's good on the motorway. Um, it'll just cruise at 70 miles an hour, no problem. It'll keep going and it's quite reliable. It's good for commuting. I commute to work every single day on this bike and over five years I've had it. Um, it's had quite a bit of um, work done. I do maintenance on the bikes when I need to. It's had uh, wheel bearings changed on the rear. It's had uh, two new chains, three new chains, two new sprocket sets. It's had a uh, new fork um, seals. It's had, uh, what else has it had? Brake pads. It's got two sets of brake, uh, two sets of brake pads over the time. And let me see what it's had. And also, over the after about two or three years with these bikes you'll find that the radiator here will start to the paint will start to flake off it and every year now i i paint this uh, part of the radiator both sides to keep it from uh, corroding too much also uh, i've had front brakes replaced probably twice two lots on there um what else have i had done with it Quite a bit. Uh, I used to have a camera system on here, which was camera front and rear. I've taken the camera system off the, the motorcycle for to keep because this one's going to go. Um, uh, what else have I done on the back of here? Nothing on there. Oh yes, I've put this um, guard here on the. This is not original. This here stops any muck going down onto the suspension um, damper and keeps it nice and clean so if you have one of these the nc750x get a little bit of plastic that's all that is a bit of plastic bent and it um it's just loose down there and it, it protects a lot keeps it nice and clean i've had a problem with the uh the brake cylinder the rear brake cylinder uh took it all apart and put it back together it was just uh, locked up for some reason or other this bike has panniers on and I think you can tell I do like this bike. It'd be hard to get rid of it, but as bikes get older, they need a little bit more work, um, like everything. So this one's got a top box on it. That's also got the uh, front driving lights on here, or fog lights, if you want to call them that. They're handy if you're driving through traffic. It's very handy to turn them on if you're filtering. The cars um, in front of you, you can normally see them lights, and it does help when for visibility. So here's a little uh, quick video. Uh, I've got these Oxford um, mitts on here. I drive it in all weathers, so I need them to keep my hands warm. I've got heated grips on this bike, which is very, very handy in the winter. 
uh, top box that's where the side um, panniers go on i've got two side panniers and um, the motors the engine's been painted because after about four years you'll find if you've got one of these that the paint on the engine will start to bubble up whether that's just a defect on my bike i don't know but um it uh it might just be my bike that's had that issue uh, these are the Oxford vein seals. Um, they were very really worth having. Some people can't get used to them because they can't. Um, they don't like the like it touching their hands while you're driving, while you're riding. So here's the uh, mileage. Up to now, I've done thirty-five thousand one hundred ninety-seven miles, and that's in five years. So it's done really, really well. Um, so good for mileage very reliable cheap to run and i would recommend this bike to anybody and one thing about this bike if you don't know already where the fuel tank normally is and uh, it's got a little trick up its sleeve it's actually a place to store all your gear i like to carry a first aid kit round hopefully not for me but for anybody else if i see anything that needs who needs any assistance then i will use that uh in that black pouch there i have uh, an extra bag which i can put things in and put it over my shoulder and that's just a toolkit and underneath there i have another big toolkit with a um a pump um a 12 volt dc pump so if i have any problems with low punctures or something like that i can sort them out i have a puncture repair kit in there really i can go anywhere on this bike and have no issues whatsoever so um i do take it everywhere as i say i use it in all weathers rain or shine i take the uh the mitts off in the summer uh top box this is the top box on back fits two crash helmets in it so it's handy if you're driving to work i just leave the top box on only i put my crash hat in there when i get out to go to work my gloves in there with me um wetsuit with wet gear and if you want to take the top box off you just pull that red button there and it, the top box releases and lifts off as like a carrying case so that's very very handy as you can see it's pretty dirty at the moment there's a bit of uh, they're putting salt on the roads and things around here because the weather's getting a bit colder and icier it was icy this morning minus three and i was uh, out to work on it so it's a nice bike if you consider one of these it's worth getting one uh, the only reason i want to get rid of it is because i can't have two motorbikes and i'm in the process of um purchasing another one um which i'm looking forward to receiving very very shortly this is uh another couple of video of um a motorbike and if you're into motorbikes then you know the only thing I don't like about this bike is that little beak on the end. That's the only thing I don't like about it. And when I first got the most bike, I thought that would be put me off. But most of the bikes are doing that now anyway. Same sort of design. And it's um, just something I don't really get on with 100%. But the bike, absolutely perfect. If you've got one of these bikes as well, I do all my shopping on this motorbike. I go to the shops regular on it. Um, and as I'm passing a supermarket or something, I'll buy bits and pieces as I'm driving along. So you can fit quite a bit in the panniers. Um, but make sure if you're riding with panniers, balance them out. Because if you put all the weights in one side, it's not a good idea. So balance it out. And there's what the top box is a 50 litre top box. You can fit a lot of shopping in there. Um, so yes, this video here is different to what I normally do. I am hoping to planning to once I get um my new motorbike then I will be posting some videos and some vlog style videos of uh, motorcycling and touring and um places where I go rain and shine so if you're interested in anything like anything to do with motorcycles or camping or anything like that I won't be doing any camping in the winter it's pretty um cold out there and wet so in the summer i'll be off camping
I'll show you how I pack up all the top boxes and side panniers and gear to go. Um, so yeah, that's the last time my bike went shopping and it ain't going to go shopping anymore because that's its last trip to the shops. So it's a bit sad to see it go, but um, hopefully it, the new motorcycle will um, give me a little bit of content here to make it, make it a bit more interesting and varied on the channel and uh, hopefully get a few more viewers and um, if there's anybody who likes motorbikes or is into motorbikes please let them know that it's going to be a bit more going on here with that so here's the motorbike that i am receiving it should be um picked up in the morning i'm looking really looking forward to um tomorrow um there is the honda nt 1100 uh, the Honda NT 1100 is a uh, oh, 100 horsepower motorbike. It's quite a power. It's better than me uh, the bike I've currently got. So I'm looking forward to picking that up tomorrow. And um, I think it's a lovely looking bike. And it has a if you get the new a new one of these, you can buy a comf more comfortable seat. Now, what I think you should do is supply a comfortable seat from the beginning. But uh, they want to charge you a little bit more for the more comfortable seat. Which I think is a bit bad, really. Buy a motorbike, a touring bike, you want it to be comfortable to begin with, don't you? But anyway, it's um, that is the bike. Let's see if I can get the specs up here. Just so I can use these specifications for that motorbike. The NT1100. Let's see what details we've got. So for the engine, it's um, 75 kilowatts with 102 newton meters torque, 104 newton meters torque. Uh, it has a sat nav on it. It's got Android CarPlay on it, uh, cruise control. So that's just a, a quick introduction to my motorcycle vlogs because I'm going to start making uh, a couple of motorcycle vlog style things. I haven't done any of them before. Uh, I've got to get some sort of camera so I can um, stick it to the motorbike. And then once I uh, have the camera installed, we should be going places. Time to go, we'll be going mobile. So if you want to um, come along and um, see some of my um, adventures, then please do i'll give you an update if anybody's interested on the new motorbike when it arrives an introduction to it and i'll do a little bit of a review on the nt 1100 if, if you're thinking of getting one of these motorbikes i shall do a review on it and tell you what i think of it what's good what's bad how it works in the wet and the snow because i believe we're going to get a bit of snow before christmas so i will be out in the snow as well and um we'll see how we go so i'm going to leave it there i hope this has been uh, a little bit informative for you and i hope going forward that um, if anybody follows along with these uh, vlog style videos motorcycling keep an eye on the channel like and subscribe if you subscribe you won't miss any of the um videos and we're going to probably get a bit of uh, mobile footage while we're out as well live We'll give that a go and all. So I'm going to uh, wish you all uh, a good day. Have a wonderful weekend because I certainly will. I'll be enjoying riding around on my uh, new motorbike. All being well. As long as there's no glitches uh, on the pickup in the morning. So bye for now. Catch you later.